Hello there, this is your favorite voice from Takim again. There are many operating systems powering computers all around the world. If you are watching this video from your Android phone, there is a Linux kernel running in the background. It provides vital environment for Android operating system, giving easy access to the device peripherals, allowing application multitasking, memory management, and many more. If you are a fan of Apple, your device runs on a Unix-like system called Darwin, which is based on BSD and Mach. If you prefer a larger screen, you might be running Microsoft Windows in your laptop or home PC. Apple's OS X or some distribution of Linux with a nice Windows-based GUI. All of these try to provide some easy-to-use environment for daily office user. What about data centers and supercomputers? Most of the supercomputers in the world use Linux, and a nice user-friendly window-based interface is not so much of importance. Consider taking care of hundreds of thousands of computers through keyboard, mouse and monitor attached to each of the machines. No, that's not how it works. The administrators use automated tools and mostly control the machines over terminals remotely. The emphasis is on efficiency and the data centers are very power hungry. Even small improvement in the performance of running application leads to a measurable reduction of power consumption when the same application is running on thousands of machines. Let's play a game now. We'll run some operating system on Takim architecture and you will guess the name of the system. Deal? Let's go! Lots of data centers servers provide internet services for users worldwide. It can be content delivery network, social network, instant messaging app, eShop, video streaming service or a huge distributed database. Simply anything that is accessed by mobile phone, computer or TV by millions of users at the same time. The longer it takes to serve one network request, the less users you can handle, meaning that you need to scale up your system to handle more users without dropouts. And its name is, wait for it, FreeBSD14. This system is specifically optimized to provide high performance with low network latency. Companies like Netflix, Yahoo, Apache, McAfee or are using it pr for providing their online services. Compared to Linux, it has highly optimized TCP IP stack and improved security features. You can modify its code and distribute it freely due to its less restricting license. This is also the reason why it is used in lots of NAS servers and even Sony PlayStation uses it as its operating system. To port this Unix-like operating system, our engineers had to face several challenges. We had to modify its source code so it could be compiled by our GCC 11 which was quite tricky since FreeBSD is usually built with only LLVM compiler. This required to modify more than 200 source files. Then we had to implement custom unwinding library for C++ exception handling, implement Prodigy specific assembly files and atomic functions, add support for resolving TACIM relocations, syscalls, third local storage, and lots of other stuff. As a proof of working network interface, we install THTTPD web server. Download some website locally using fetch command. And start hosting it. Everything is working smoothly so far. QMU is configured to forward local port 80, which is the default port for hosting web pages, to port 45380 on the host machine. Next tool we will run is called QA. It is the automated testing framework used by FreeBSD developers to check whether all system components are working well. Tested are, for example, kernel queues, file system API, TCP IP stack, cryptographic libraries, multitasking, virtual memory, and virtualization support. One nice feature provided by QA tool is generating HTML reports so we can clearly see what tests have failed. Extending our software ecosystem with FreeBSD operating system enables specific hyperscale customers to switch to Tachyon Prodigy processors more easily. FreeBSD provides incredible performance for network applications requiring extremely low latencies. The users of Tachyon Prodigy platform can take benefit of these features, including improved stability and security FreeBSD has to offer. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from us.